Suzanne Marie Summers is an American actress, author, singer, businesswoman, and health spokesperson. She appeared in the television role of Chrissy Snow on Three's Company and as Carol Foster Lambert on Step by Step. Summers later became the author of a series of self-help books, including Ageless, The Naked Truth About Bioidentical Hormones, About Bioidentical Hormone Replacement Therapy. She has released two autobiographies, four diet books, and a book of poetry. Summers has been criticized for her views on some medical subjects and her advocacy of the Wiley Protocol, which has been labeled as scientifically unproven and dangerous. Her promotion of alternative cancer treatments has received criticism from the American Cancer Society. Chapter 1 Personal Life Born Suzanne Marie Mahoney in San Bruno, California, Summers was the third of four children in an Irish American Catholic family. Her mother, Marion Elizabeth, was a medical secretary, and her father, Francis Mahoney, was a laborer and gardener. When Suzanne was six years old her father became an alcoholic. Summers's father would call her names and embarrass her. Summers attended Cappuccino High School she also said she was a cheerleader at Mercy High School in Burlingame, California, and was accepted at San Francisco College for Women, a college run by the Catholic Society of the Sacred Heart Order. Summers married Bruce Summers in 1965, when she was 19, and they had a son, Bruce Jr., in November 1965. That marriage ended in 1968. Summers became a prize model on Anniversary Game, where she met host Alan Hamill. They married in 1977. Summers has three granddaughters, Camelia, Violet and Daisy Hamill Buffer. Summers was diagnosed with stage 2 breast cancer in April 2000, and had a lumpectomy to remove the cancer followed by radiation therapy, but decided to forego chemotherapy, which doctors prescribe, in favor of a fermented mistletoe extract called Iscador. On January 9, 2007, the Associated Press reported that a wildfire in Southern California had destroyed Summer's Malibu home. Chapter 2 Career Chapter 2 Section 1 Early Acting Roles Summers began acting in small roles during the late 1960s and early 1970s. She also appeared in the Rockford Files in 1974 and had an uncredited role as a topless pool girl in Magnum Force in 1973. She also had a guest starring role on The Six Million Dollar Man. In the 1977 episode Cheshire Project, she played a passenger on the first episode of The Love Boat as well as a guest appearance in a 1976 episode of One Day at a Time. She later landed her most famous role of the ditzy blonde Chrissy Snow on the ABC sitcom Three's Company in 1977. Also that year, she was a celebrity panelist on Match Game, and appeared with husband Alan Hamill on Tattletales. Chapter 2 Section 2 Three's Company Summers was cast in the ABC sitcom Three's Company in January 1977. After actresses Suzanne Zenner and Susan Lanier, did not impress producers during the first two test pilots, Summers was suggested by ABC president Fred Silverman, who had seen her on The Tonight Show and she was auditioned and hired the day before the taping of the third and final pilot officially commenced. She portrayed Chrissy Snow, a stereotypical dumb blonde, who was employed as an office secretary. The series co-starred John Ritter and Joyce DeVitt in a comedy of errors about two single women living with a single man who pretends to be gay in order to bypass the landlord's policy prohibiting single men sharing an apartment with single women. The program was an instant success in the ratings, eventually spawning a short-lived spin-off series. Summers became an audience favorite, with the media proclaiming her the show's breakout star, and leading to her status as a popular sex symbol of the era. She was generally credited for transforming the program into a worldwide phenomenon. When Three's Company began its fifth season in the fall of 1980, Summers demanded a hefty salary increase from $30,000 to $150,000 an episode and 10% ownership of the show's profits. Those close to the situation suggested that Summers' rebellion was largely due to husband Hamill's influences. 
After ABC denied her a raise in salary, Summers refused to appear in the second and fourth episodes of the season, due to excuses such as a broken rib. She finished the remaining season on her contract, but her role was decreased to just 60 seconds per episode, her character only appearing in the episode's closing tag in which Chrissy calls the trio's apartment from her parents' home. After ABC fired her from the program, and terminated her contract, Summers sued the network for $2 million, saying her credibility in show business had been damaged. The lawsuit was settled by an arbitrator who decided Summers was owed $30,000, due to a single missed episode for which she had not been paid. Future rulings also favored the network and producers. Summers says she was fired for asking to be paid as much as popular male television stars of the day such as Alan Alder and Carol O'Connor. Before the feud with ABC and Three's company producers had ended, rival network CBS knew that Summers was ultimately going to be available. They signed her to a contract and a development deal for her own sitcom, to be called The Suzanne Summers Show, in which she was to play an over-the-top airline stewardess. Once she was indeed available, CBS gave Summers, and the public, a time frame in which to expect the show to hit the air, but due to a change in administration at CBS Entertainment Division in early 1982, executives ended up passing on the project. In her book After the Fall Summers said the producers of Three's company kept sending cease and desist forms to CBS stating that Summers could